Hello and welcome to the Graphic K9. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking blueprint effect in Adobe Illustrator. Now this is really easy to do and it takes a couple of clicks uh, to create this effect. Now this not only works for text, this also works for vector graphics as you can see down here um, with the shapes and this umbrella. So first of all, whoops, I'm just going to create a new canvas and then I'm going to create some text I'm going to make this text a little bit bigger and then I'm going to choose a nice bold font there we go I'm going to zoom in a little bit now to apply this, uh, the scribbling effect simply go in the effects menu and stylize and then select scribble now as you can see the default settings won't look as good as this um, because I've already adjusted the settings from the previous project that's why it looks uh, perfect but what you're looking for is um, a little bit of spacing in between so you don't want too much spacing because well it wouldn't look like a blueprint so you're looking about 0 0.3 three or 0.4 now this all depends on the size of canvas as well so you have to adjust these settings to make it look like a blueprint effect now what's important is turning the variation here down to none now if I turn it up a bit as you can see it will kind of leave to the outside so just turn it down now the stroke width is the width of the lines now if you pull it all the way up as you can see the lines is going to be really thick and obviously you don't really want that so you're looking about naught point values here the curviness now that's self-explanatory it's how curvy the lines are now you want nice sharp lines so you might want to turn the curviness all the way down now the variation is obviously um, how much the lines vary now if I turn it up as you can see it kind of looks a bit stupid so you want to turn this down a little bit as well to make it look sharp and um, like pencil lines and then the variation here uh, this is the variation of the spacing now you want to take turn this down as well um, to about 0 point values to make it again looking sharp now once you adjusted these settings just click OK and now you have your nice looking blueprint effect to make it more like a blueprint add some lines as you can see in the previous project here I just added some random lines now these lines don't have to be perfect in terms of the size of them because again it's a blueprint now once I added the line I'm just gonna stroke it there we go and then you get the idea you make another line here and then you know play around with it, be creative and you can get your nice looking blueprint effect now with the shapes these also work um, the scribble effect also work with vectors such as this and some vectors you can find on the internet just like this umbrella shape here now if you want to get more creative what you can do is actually go in Photoshop get a blueprint texture and make the uh, blueprint text here white and then pull it over the blueprint texture it'll look really good so that is pretty much it for this tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial then please give it a thumbs up otherwise don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video